Why did they sabotage her? What benefits could they have seen to sabotage her? We're talking about Pomo Rainpuff again. This time we got a little bit of a leak going on saying that she was possibly sabotaged in her MGS, Metal Gear Solid, uh, lifetime opportunity thing. Now we know it's Metal Gear Solid that was a lifetime opportunity. If this person is to be believed, of course, you can consider this a, a tinfoil hat moment or a moment, you know, take things with a, a grain of salt because this is someone anonymously saying that they are within the company. But this is what we're going for. I'll t let's take a look. This one's talking about Pomo specifically. Given then, you might not be able to or want to answer a very dumb question. You can plead the fifth. Who effed over Pomo's dream? My assumption is Japan management. I lived here for seven years. I know that no is the automatic reaction. Anything that deviates from the manual. It'd genuinely break my heart if it was Ian management. Miscommunication and covert sabotage. So someone actually, according to this person, again, tinfoil hat time, according to this person, there was miscommunication about the Pomo initiative. The thing that Pomo said was her chance of a lifetime her lifetime opportunity that was dropped and was not allowed to go through by Niji Sanji. Um, covert sabotage can lead to the whole Illyra situation because who else would want to sabotage? This is also a tinfoil hat time. This is just my thoughts. It's as trite as many of you might have already surmised. It has to do with whom the face of the branch is supposed to be, coupled with general incompetence. Incidentally, it goes well beyond the Metal Gear Solid promotional initiative. So according to this person, it was the Metal Gear Solid thing. It was the thing that later on went to Cali and Hollow Life. So that, of course, we know Pomo was the Metal Gear Solid fairy. She freaking loves Metal Gear Solid. So that would make sense that the Metal Gear Solid initiative was the one that was passed up because it wasn't given to Illyra or whatever. It wasn't drawn towards Illyra or whatever. And um, they felt that Pomo would probably be a better fit. Maybe Metal Gear Solid did. This is, again, tinfoil hat time for me. And uh, that just sucks. Covert sabotage and general incompetence makes sense. General incompetence makes sense. And who's the face of the branch? That really sucks. Poor Pomu. I'm glad she's gone and, like, enjoying herself now. She really does seem to be enjoying herself. So I'm glad she's out of that cesspool of a place. I really am. Mentioned that there was a possible queue of up to a year when it came to the uh, livers being able to graduate. Uh, and someone asked, could we get a name or hint as the next graduation is? I honestly do not know because even though there's effectively a queue, the, the places in that queue are not known to me. Uh, the next one is, do you know if internal investigation is finished and if they're going to terminate Illyra or click or not? Well, when it comes to us that are only tar tangentially irrelevant, the investigation is probably finished. I don't know about the ones directly implicated because, you know, the whole bad thing that happened with Illyra. We, we know that that was not good PR for them. To answer this next question, do people feel Selen overreacted? Or is there a non-Discord communication that things were bad? Uh, no one is callous or bold enough to assert that because S is in a, is a big deal in this culture, in the culture of VTubing and things, in, well, culture period, I think. <clears throat> but many have insinuated that she overreacted or that drama tubers made it a bigger deal than it is. There are some that even tacitly asserted that what was alleged in the documents does not actually constitute harassment because there was no physical violence employed. Wow. So some people actually believe, again, tinfoil hat. Some people actually believe that because there was no physical violence, there was no physical stuff happening, no physical altercations, it was not harassment. There is actual emotional harassment. There is actual harassment that can be done just through voice, just through actions, not actually, you know, through getting actually someone hurt. Some people are generally morally insolvent and solipsistic. Solipsistic. Solip I don't know what that means. Solipsistic. Um, let's see. Is it obvious that graduated levers kill like is kill confirmed Daft's recent attacks against Toki? Anons keep coping about Pomo solidarity with Toki inter interactions, but not Nina, who had no problem being friendly with Kyo. Uh, make believe she's more likely openly siding with Illyra to do with Toki. Nina was a recipient of very much the same flavor of harassment as Selene. But she was very quickly internalized in her place in the hierarchy. Selene was independent, ambitious, and honest. That was her gravest sin. That's what I was saying before. She had too much drive. She had too much creativity. She was too independent. They, companies, big organizations don't like that. They want you to go lock, step, and barrel and just go with whatever they have, which is what Nina did because she wanted to fit in. I don't blame her for that. I mean, I mean, a lot of times you want to fit in and have a good environment that you're working in and you don't want to ruffle feathers. She didn't want to ruffle feathers. Uh, Selene seemed to be more the type of person that she was very independent and would ruffle feathers. You know, she would actually do things negatively like that because, well, negative for the organization that is. 
So that's why Nina supposedly wasn't uh, at, harassed as badly because she went in line and was actually, you know, following what people were telling her in the sense of keeping things kumbaya, you know? That's kind of crazy. And on continues in this time a little bit with the SCARDA stuff. Um, they're talking about what happened to 3D Pipeline, Obsidia having to nothing a solid year later. There's a confusion and disappointment. It's not even a major point of discussion, all things considered. So it's kind of being getting pushed to the back burner. Um, any talks, rumors about planning new attacks on Doki and a long shot on Sayu? I suspect they're going to keep fabricating PR initiatives and grassroots stunts. A recently graduated Live expressly agreed to get in touch with influencers and Twitter personalities after all. So yes, the rumor about um, them trying to do PR grassroots things and talk to influencers seems to be true for that most part. The last one is um, what happened to Scarlet stuff? Did she take it down? Did management make her? If you're re referencing to Valentine's, it was not likely, most likely a miscommunication in time management. If you're referring to the Harda comment, she was technically reprimanded, but no action was taken, and it was not considered to be a major infraction. Management cannot afford to make martyrs out of livers, as they already have in the past. You can't make a martyr out of a liver because then you get the Doki Bird situation, which will hurt them even longer in the long run. They will hurt them even more. And you don't want that, especially as a big company. So now continuing on, he's answering even more questions, which are, uh, have the livers ever talked about harassment that Zion got when she was terminated? Did any of them feel bad about throwing her under the bus? Were Finana and Kotoka encouraged to talk bad about her? Expressing solidarity or coming out to the defense of Zion is verboten in Niji Sanji, which means forbidden. In Nidhi Sanji. So Zion is a black sheep. Nidhi Sanji, according to this person, does not want, again, tinfoil hat, does not want anyone talking good about uh, Zion or even talking about Zion. You have to realize what the culture is like. I'm sure a lot of us were awestruck when she was terminated over such minor infractions, but no outward, not outwardly it, expressed it. There's only one correct opinion. So there's like a cult in there. They, they want you to have a correct opinion, pretty much. They're very cult-like in their ways. So, why are you feeling so comfortable on sharing so many details? They could easily guess who you are. Are you not worried about that? They cannot afford to action against me, even if they manage to figure out who I am. What I am doing is considerably more benign than what others have done, without so much as getting a suspension. So, apparently, other people, like, uh, people have said Luca has done a lot. Other people have been leaking so much more information that, uh, and they have not gotten into any trouble. So, why would he get in trouble? Because he's doing something very benign, just, you know, dispelling rumors or actually you know making rumors be true right here are any of the organs openly seeing uh about doki's success i'm not asking about names see if there are any uh they're seething yes a lot of people are seething uh very much so seething on doki bird's success which makes me very happy because uh the fact is they're not getting success because they're just not uh doing things in a proper way in the sense of you know bringing a good community through bringing good things upon here and, you know, just doing that, doing that the proper way. You know what I mean? Next is, um, I do have a couple questions. Have the livers still in the company changed their feelings towards it? For example, have they started talking back against management or often expressed their disappointment in it? And second, have any of them supported the decisions made by graduated or terminated livers like Pomer Selen? Yes. Jokes about branch shutting down, going unemployed or something of a regular pastime. They never quite so far as attacked the company, but they let it slip often. The only correct stance to take is to bemoan the damage that Len has done, or how even her qualms are justified. No one dares minimize such suicide outright. Uh, the drama tubers and toxic aunties blew out of proportions and mischaracterized the whole ordeal. This is the gestalt, this is the, this is the whole thing. They often qualify how serious and scary S is, only to proceed to, bes to besmirch and attack Selene's character. Duplicity is a forte of many. I knew there was duplicity because you freaking look at Vox. Vox was duplicitous big time. He was, a, he was backstabbing Selene whilst, you know, trying to say, you know, the S is wrong and that um, people should be protected who, you know, in order to not have to deal with that. You can tell a lot of people are duplicitous there. Again, continuing uh, about communication from G for, or fallout from JP management. The only communication we've gotten in, is in the form of tutoring, debriefing on the PR stream. Again, Elira, Anna, Millie and Raymu got further communication, but I don't know what, what that entailed. How newer members are understandably not intimate with how things work and might believe most if not all of what's happening is not representative of reality they might genuinely believe their family is infallible and everything's elaborate mischaracterization you cannot overestimate ignorance and pre preconceived notions i am effectively living a double life i have emotionally distanced myself enough to not let it all affect me too much yes i am actively considering my options and making plans about graduating and how they're dealing with the whole situation uh and about this one, this question about um, about mental health. <clears throat> this is the first thing he did. 
He fortunately did have a solid support structure outside of the industry, which includes family and friends. And the question was, uh, see how you can mitigate your exposure and perhaps grit your teeth and set aside your rainy day fund to pay out minimum fines possible. Getting ahead of potential Salen-esque smear by priming your trusted contacts with social media followings to get a message out and softening into potential damage. So he did this. He had protections against reputational damage, protections against, uh, you know, any bad things popping up. He made sure to have a good support structure, which is very important. You know, all these things are very important, but it's sad that a liver from a company has to actually do this and has to actually worry about this kind of stuff. I really can't believe that people have to do this in a company that should be actually protecting you. But then again, it's a large corporation. So who knows? Again, people in 4chan are you know, going back to old things as well. Something that was said a long time ago about another person that was supposedly doing rats and things like that. <clears throat> this person said, your inferences have been largely correct. Illyria is for all intents and purposes a manager. Insofar as she effectively decides which projects will be pursued, which library will be prioritized for permissions and which libraries will be picked for collaborations, sponsorships, public opportunities, and whether a library's correspondence will actually reach Nidhi Sanji's management. She has also assumed the role of med mediator between the main branch management and English branch management when it comes to library's complaints, feedback, and inter interpersonal altercations. This is mainly done via one-on-one -on -one discussion on a Discord server, where the library will express their concerns, feedback, complaints to Alira, with the understanding that Alira will then forward the contents of the discussion to management if mediation amongst co-workers cannot be achieved. Her real-life long term friends, Anna and Millie, have effectively assumed the role of assistance. Some libraries didn't have an intricate, holistic insight into her actual purview, scope of power, and ability to sabotage, harass, and marginalize her co-workers. They were under the impression she was just a benign mediator, nothing more than an in in interpreter or an official in ambassador, so kindly don't direct your ire towards everyone indiscriminately. As for who else is implicated, let me reiterate that it should become clear in the near future. So this is another little piece of information that, yes, verifies that she was I mean the rat it's a rat so take up a tinfoil hat she may have been a mediator in between and that's where she got a lot of favoritism when he continues to answer more questions about what's going on uh well, about dopio we're not close but he happens to be a good guy no issues whatsoever not going to say more unless you figure out my gen <clears throat> here when it comes to uh were some of the livers upset if they found a content said stream anyone felt betrayed i'm sure you would, they would feel that way says that you appear to be assuming it was a live stream it wasn't a live stream apparently it was like discord call uh this one this is a bit more personal i don't expect you to know but what's co what's with kotka is it mental issues she did see herself sorry no idea we were told it was something stress related and she only mentioned stepping back for mental health issues when answering your question is she part of the management as well millie there's no actual concrete management in niji sanji yen which is what we were all thinking we were all thinking this but uh it was verified here for the regular liver the closest thing to a manager is Alira, millie anna and her little helpers. Unless, of course, you want to jump through hoops, trying to ping people on Slack and being passed around, all the while receiving contradictory instructions. About the thing that I recently read, the post that the person made uh, about, you know, uh, Elira being in cahoots and really in power, uh, he, this is the same person who made that post. A lever had to wait close to a year and another had to wait a little over six months to uh, actually graduate. So there's an actual queue for graduations, according to this person. There's an actual queue for graduations, and it could take you up to six months to graduate. Some had to wait a month, some had to wait a year, some had to wait six months. It really depends on how much. A year. Imagine a year to graduate. You want to be out of here, and they won't let you do it for a year. What the heck is that all about? That's really messed up. If true, it's messed up. And right here, uh, are you aware of any other communications from up? above other than PR and those you've mentioned already. Elira is in communication with the main branch as well, Nidhi Sanji EN managers that interestingly enough can't really speak English, but I don't know the specifics on who she's in contact with or what entails. As for the rest of us, we talked with HR during our orientation, the onboarding managers and the PR managers just recently. So there seems to be managers in Nidhi EN who don't even really speak English, which is weird. Uh, and you don't really talk to HR when you really get in, and beyond that, you really don't have any conversations. This is, if the rat is real, it's kind of crazy. It's pretty darn crazy. Again, continuation of what we were reading before. Yes, there were lengthy discussions. Scarlet is not associating too closely with coworkers, understandably. She's keeping a professional demeanor, is polite to everyone, and generally accommodating. She distanced herself after livers grouped up and effectively pressured her to make up with another liver. To signal how close they are. This is not all uncommon within Nidhi Sanji, and this type of interventions are commonplace. So, <clears throat> people 
cannot decide who they talk to and not talk to. They always want this kumbaya, my lord, type of thing. So they are forcing livers to talk to one another, even if they don't like each other. I can understand the whole maybe wanting to have, you know, like I said, a kumbaya moment, a little, you know, all unity within the thing or whatever. But um, this is just weird. It really is just very strange that this is going on the way that it is. You know what I mean? It really is very odd that something like this is is, is doing, go taking the rounds or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you know, I know people really not are really not turning on each other. People are distancing themselves and creating tight knit groups while maintaining the veneer of a big functional family. Ah, okay. So they're going into click mode again. They're going into click mode to protect each other, which I mean, kind of makes sense when you think about it. Uh, click mode can protect you from a lot of different things. I don't know, to be honest. Alira talked with the main branch, and then after some back and forth, she, Millie, and Vox told us to retweet the stream. I presume some livers watched it before retweeting, quote tweeting, but I didn't. Oh, so the click was like, you have to repost this. You must repost this. And people knew if they didn't repost this, it, this is me saying, me editorializing a little bit. If they didn't repost this, then there were going to be issues. Things were going to happen. So that is an interesting way of seeing things. That's an interesting way of doing things. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it hasn't really worked well out for them, Cotton. I don't think. This person is also like, it's a rat. It's a person saying things. It's unverified, etc. It says, I take it you have noticed a grassroots push to shift the narrative that I'd mentioned in the thread a couple days ago. It is only the beginning. The livers in question plan to make an even bigger splash in anticipation of Alira's return to streaming. They came to the conclusion the backlash is negligible. I highly doubt it. I mean, it keeps going. Everything keeps going. So that the backlash is not negligible. And that they can easily uh, control their communities with four week subscriber chats. Oh, dang. Four week subscribers. You have to be at one month subscriber. Wow. That's pretty bad. Membership streams in heavy moderation. Uki Violetta has been given a suspension. That doesn't surprise me. But management did not specify a set duration. He's already flirting with the idea of engaging his fan base and NYFCO for a Twitter counterattack. The livers are trying to distance themselves while walking on eggshells, which I mean, it makes sense. Uh, you don't want to be associated with a toxic person or someone that has, is toxic at the moment. If you're just thinking of your brand, you definitely don't want that. Yes, the support the artist was a premeditated PR initiative, as a lot of people thought. Again, this is a rat, but it all seems to fit in. It all seems to fit in. That was very, very calculated because every single person said that's pretty much the same type of post after that. It's good messaging, but it seemed very too convenient. Again, tinfoil hat moment. Tinfoil hat moment. Just saying, take it as you will. No, it did not come from management. There have been discussions on Discord and some livers took it themselves to tweet. They were brainstorming ideas and checking with each other about how they should form their tweets. Fox was not given a suspension, as far as I know. He simply opted to take a break, citing mental health, even though management encouraged him to, to have a membership stream because he is the favorite. Anna, Millie, Alira, and Remu have clamped up. Most of us have no idea what they've been told, but they have been separately coached by PR managers as well as legal. Sprosmi, Scarla, Fulger, Petra, Hex, and Melico have noticeably been more distant. Anna complained extensively about the noticeable decrease in revenue in the wake of her latest special stream. So she, everybody's been noticing some kind of drop. Some livers have taken to calling Doki Bird Dookie Bird, which is childish. It's like freaking you're in middle school or even elementary school at this point. Dookie Bird is the best you could do. But either way, you're doing this like that? I mean, dude, really, what the hell? Learn to freaking be an adult, for God's sakes. You are a literal child by saying these things. You are just like, what the heck? A lot of discussions about drama tubers on Discord, but Slack is spotless. A lot of paranoid schizophrenia manifesting as fear of typing anything out on Discord, with the livers opting to hop in voice chat even for simple confirmations and refusals. If you have questions, ask away, so long as they don't jeopardize my OPSEC, and non-disclosure or non-disparagement agreements. People, like, that bully thing, it's like tiny bullying. It's like childish bullying. It doesn't make sense why people are... Dookie Bird? I mean, seriously, I'm still stuck on that. I'm sorry. But Dookie Bird? It's... Ah, uh, it just doesn't make sense. It's just really weird. I mean, it kind of does make sense since the rat also is that they get young people like straight out of high school, maybe out of, straight out of college, or not even going to college yet. They get them really young to be able to... Um, Take advantage of them because they're not aware of their fiscal rights. So that's one of those things, I think. Here we have a bit more information about some other things that the person claims is happening within Nijisanji EN. 
Uh, this is a rat right now, as in it's like it's unverified. But, you know, it's always nice to read these things. Always nice to take a look at these things and see how things are going. So this person says, Livers were initially afraid of sheer backlash making their streams unmanageable. They now believe they can comfort comfortably moderate their streams and multiply and employ methods that make issues moot. They believe they overestimated the backlash they would get in their streams in the form of chat and incendiary super chats. They have lamented over the loss of subscribers, concurrent viewers, and revenue, but they were considerably more afraid of their career ending. I know people on 4chan like to joke about 2% merchandise cuts, but the reality is that livers live very comfortably li very comfortable lives in comparison to what they were making in their past lives. And, and in answering a question about Uki, he says, Uki has been suspended. This is not speculative. He mentioned it on Discord and an entire argument broke out. When a liver from Eluna asked for duration, he replied he didn't know if there was even a set duration. So from what this rat is saying, uh, there is a suspension already out for Uki Violetta because of what he said. Not necessarily because of what he said, but because it made Nidhi Sanji look bad, of course. Because Nidhi, Nidhi Sanji doesn't care what you say as long as you're part of the in-group, part of their, their favorites or whatever you want to call it. What they really care about is if it makes the company look bad, which this certain Uki situation did. Made him look extremely bad. Even if it was part of his persona or whatever you want to call it, or he's white or whatever you want to say about it, still made him look bad. Uh, and in answer to another question, I know for a fact this much does not breach the agreements because at least two other livers have divulged considerably more information than honestly in another website. Management was made aware and I was con it was concluded that they were not in breach. As soon as the tutoring coaching session ended, PR managers that were either hired for this express purpose or PR managers from the main branch, I don't know. We have not gotten a lot of information about what happens moving forward. I know for a fact Elira, Anna, Millie, and Reimu received more tutoring communication, but I don't know what it entailed. They simply stressed we should go back to streaming as soon as possible, provided we are certain we can control our community and avoid infractions. Again, like I said, this is unverified. This is a dude claiming that he is part of Nidhi Sanji EN and sending out information. In answer to certain questions, he says, I genuinely know that it would not be in breach of agreements because two other livers were effectively caught leaking information with express timelines and names, as well as directing third parties to disclose the core worker's private information. Management concluded they were not in breach. I have not, I have spoken to legal counsel. I'm not an idiot. The argument about drama tubers, the nature of R and lamentations about white people, I've personally seen six, seen six people type the pet name out on Discord. I don't know if there's any more than have used it in voice, voice calls. I gave my quote-unquote two-week notice more than four months ago. Interestingly enough, that's not how it works in Nidhi Sanji Yen. Shame on me for not carefully reading the contract. It was another liver that leaked the graduations. I never used LK alias on any of my posts. No, Rosemi was not a manager. Rosemi was never quite in the clique. But she was a satellite. The worst she's done was nervous laughs when co-workers were disparaged in front of her. It's up to you whether you deem this an, an accessory or a victim. I never liked how they treated her. It reminded me of Nina's treatment before she unfortunately embraced and fell in love and fell in line. Um, I did not make it make the follow the rose post. I have only made two posts regarding Rosemi and about the Save Me Pink Girls tweet and about how characterizing her as an in cahoots was not accurate. So Rosemi was not in the clique. This person is actually verifying that there was a click, which is interesting as a leak because people were saying, oh, you know, the click is just, you know, hearsay, it's just a rat, whatever. If this person, if this person actually works for Nidhi Sanji EN, then this whole click thing is the fact that they verified it here kind of makes sense with how everything's been going, going so far. It's been very odd, very um, one-sided, I guess you could say, when it comes to a lot of things. And I find that very interesting, but it makes more sense with this guy. That is all I have today in regards to all the new rats that are occurring in this whole atmosphere. Of course, like I say, always take this with a grain of salt because we do not have any way to actually verify things. We are not inside of uh, Niji Sanji EN. We are not inside of these people's heads. We cannot tell because it's all anonymous. So it could be true. It could be all false. It could just be sprinkled with a bit of truth here and there to make it seem more likely that that happened. A lot of things could be the truth. Of course, this is your Mad Salvi saying, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what it is that you think is happening here. What it is that you think uh, is going on. If you believe these, if you don't, let me know. As well as all of my socials are in the description down below. And I have, you know, things right here in front of you that you might like to see. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. 
拜拜。